Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 16 in chapter 14. Chapter 14 is about oscillations. And in this one, we get the displacement and time graph. Look at there. And then we need to find the spring constant and the equation to describe this curve. So first one, let's see what the quantity is given. It gives us the mass of this uh, object. And it tells us at the t equal to 0, uh, the displacement is 0 0.43 cm. And also look at the picture, it tells us the amplitude, right? And the period, 0 0.69 second. If we want to find spring constant, so we can consider this equation. It, cons it equals the P, uh, T period mass. So we can solve this equation to find function of K, look like this one, and input the mass and the t inside, we can get the final answer there. This is unit newton per meter. The next one is to write the equation to describe it. Uh, of course, it is a cosine function because it just shift a little bit shift this way, right? The next one amplitude is given, and so we can write it as this one a cosine angular velocity t plus phi, right? This is then we can say a is given omega angular velocity is 2 pi over t. And phi, we don't know, we write it there. So we input the known quantity, we get answer look like this one. So the next step, we need to find the phi, face phi. Now it tells us at the t equal to 0. So t equal to 0, this term becomes 0. So this term disappeared. We just have 0 0.82 cosine phi equal to 0 0.43, agree? Now we can solve this equation to find the cosine phi. Now we've solved the cosine the function, we find the phi has two choices, positive or negative. By then, we look at the picture. The picture tells us the picture is shifted to the right, right? Is shift to the right because in the initial it is this point this peak is at zero and it shift to the right so it becomes the of cosine phi so it, we choose the negative side so there we, we choose negative one thank you